Hello everyone. In this video, we will be continuing our discussion about electrical discharge machining where we will be focusing more about power and control system of the ADM machining process and along with that what is its electrode wear, its dielectric medium. So all these things we will be discussing in briefly. So we will just continue the mechanism uh, from the previous video. So here exactly what happens means uh, during the ionization process as the electrons get accelerated more positive ions and electrons would get generated due to collisions. So this cyclic process would increase the concentration of electrons and ions in the dielectric medium between the tool and the job at the spark gap. The concentration would be so high that the matter existing in the channel could be characterized as plasma. The electrical resistance of such plasma channel would be very less thus all of a sudden a large number of electrons will flow from tool to job and ions from job to tool this is called avalanche motion of electrons such motion of electrons and ions can be visually seen as a spark thus the electrical energy is dissipated as the thermal energy of the spark the high speed electrons then impinge on the job and ions on the tool the kinetic energy of the electrons and the ions on impact with the surface of the tool and job respectively would be converted into the thermal energy or heat flux. Such intense localized heat flux leads to extreme instantaneous confined rise in temperature which would, which would be in excess of 10,000 degrees Celsius. Such localized extreme rise in temperature leads to material removal. Material removal occurs due to instant vaporization of the material as well as due to melting. The molten metal is not removed completely but only partially. So uh, this is about uh, upon withdrawal of potential difference the plasma channel collapses. This ultimately creates compression shock waves on both the electrode surface. Particularly at high spots on workpiece surface which are closest to the tool. This evacuates molten material and forms a crater around the site of the spark. The whole sequence of the operation occurs within few microseconds. So, and even the schematic view can be seen in this particular uh, uh, slide. So, all this process, the spark production, the metal removal process, the collapsing, everything happens in microseconds. And this is the, uh, the schematic, the 2D schematic view where we could able to see very clearly how the spark is uh, producing. Uh, you can able to see this, there is a pump for the dielectric, uh, uh, you know, like continuous uh, pumping and uh, supplying and uh, the filter we will be using because uh, the, we will be recycling the same dielectric fluid, whatever uh, we, are, we, are, we have just uh, immersed in the dia dielectric uh, uh, tank. And this filter will exactly, it uh, collects all the... Uh, uh, sediments uh, or we can call this uh, the ionic particles and it will supply again back uh, you know like uh, uh, the pure uh, dielectric fluid and this is the servo control feed which is connected uh, which is connected with an uh, uh, the electrode tool and uh, you can able to see uh, both the workpiece and be connected with an uh, a dc pulse uh, generator this direct current pulse generator where the workpiece has been connected with a positive terminal and electrode has been connected with a negative terminal so when i'm when i'm supplying the electric current as we discussed here uh, so this uh, uh, electrode tool will produce the uh, you know like uh, electrical spark so the ionization the collision avalanche effect all those things we have discussed in the presence of dielectric fluid the spark will be producing and you can able to see the how the spark is produced so a you know like a, a highly uh, you know like a, uh, you know like a potential spark will be uh, produced during this process and the spark will be uh, melting and the shape of the uh, electrode remains uh, uh, you know like uh, the, the shape will be uh, we will be uh, uh, replicating in the workpiece so the shape of the tool will decide the shape of the workpiece so thus to summarize the material removal in electrical discharge machining mainly occurs due to uh, formation of shock waves as the plasma channel collapse owing to discontinuation of applied potential difference generally the workpiece is made positive and the tool negative hence the electrons strike the job leading to crater formation due to high temperature and melting and material removal similarly the positive ions impinge on the tool leading to tool wear in electrical discharge machining, the generator is used to apply voltage pulses between the tool and job. A constant voltage is not applied, only sparking is desired rather than arcing. Arcing leads to localized material removal at a particular point where sparks get distributed all over the tool surface leading to uniform material removal. And this is the EDM working principle. Uh, just now we discussed a tool wear, a dielectric fluid flow. This is a plasma channel and this is a vapor. And the crater is formed here and it is a recast layer 
and this is the heat affected zone this is the liquid metal and this is the solidified metal which has been removed from the workpiece and the continuous flushing of the dielectric fluid so even in examination you people can able to draw this uh, working principle sketch also so the edm a power and control circuits we will focus on this one so two broad categories of generators that is power supplies are in use of electrical discharge machining so commercially available is rc circuit based and transistor controlled pulses so in the first category the main parameters to choose from at setup time are the resistance of the resistors and the capacitance of the capacitors in an ideal condition these quantities would affect the maximum current delivered in a discharge current delivery in a discharge is associated with the charge accumulated on a capacitor at a certain moment little control is expected over the time of discharge which is likely to depend on the actual spark gap conditions so the advantages of using rc gen circuit generator can allow the use of short discharge time more easily than the pulse control generator also the open circuit voltage that is the voltage between the electrodes when dielectric is not broken can be identified as steady state voltage of the rc circuit in generators based on transistor control the user is usually able to deliver a train of voltage pulses to the electrode each pulse can be controlled in shape for instance quasi rectangular in particular the time between two consecutive pulses and the duration of each pulse can be set the amplitude of each pulse constitutes the open circuit voltage thus maximum duration of discharge is equal to duration of the voltage pulse maximum current during a discharge that a generator delivers can also be controlled details of generators and control systems on edms are not always easily available to the user because this is a barrier to describing the technological parameters of edm process moreover the parameters affecting the phenomena occurring between tool and electrode are also related to the motion controller of the electrodes a framework to define and measure the electrical parameters during an edm operation directly on inter electrode volume with an oscilloscope external to the machine has been recently proposed by perry et al this would enable the user to estimate directly the electrical parameter that affect their operations without relying upon machine manufacturer's claims when machining a different materials in the same setup condition the actual electrical parameters are significantly different and this is the uh, edm power and control circuits when using rc generators the voltage pulses which is shown in the sketch are responsible for the material removal a series of voltage pulses again shown in the sketch of magnitude about 20 to 120 volts and frequency of an order 5 kilohertz is applied between the two electrodes and this is the discharge voltage and this is nothing but one cycle so this graph is plotted with respect to the voltage and time and this is the charging time this is the discharge time and this is one cycle thing and edm power and control circuits where we can able to see what is the on time off time so in usually in the down time i mean in the down channel uh, amplitude will be calling as an on time and the upper gap amplitude will be calling as an off time this is again current versus time and this is the peak current and this is an average current and edm power and control circuits so even in the form of a graphical mode we can able to see like uh, in the one on time off time one cycle what is ionization level the breakdown voltage the spark voltage and ignition delay so all those things uh, uh, even the graphical view we can able to see this is generally happens and uh, next is about uh, uh, the spark energy and the peak current and the average current graph that's also we can able to see and uh, next is about the, the charging time and the with and the also useful erosion time in the discharging time with respect to the voltage time and uh, current time we can able to see in this particular graph then moving to the next one electrode material adults uh, since it is a very uh, lengthy topic uh, we shall continue our discussion uh, in the next video about the electrode material uh, since it takes uh, more time uh, to discuss so along with the electrode material we will even discuss about uh, the dielectric medium and other things okay thank you